Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, I'm a mum of three from the UK and I'm a home educating parent. This is the part two of my How To Home Educate High School series. Um, if you haven't watched part one yet, go look on my videos, check out part one. Um, this is picking up where we left off, so if you haven't watched part one, this isn't going to make so much sense to you. Um, we're going to get start talking, um, uh, we're talking about all the different things that make up the high school transcript. And the next thing we're talking about is health. So um, let me go back, we'll just head into the past, we'll head into yesterday and talk about, um, finish talking about the Home Educating High School Diploma. Uh, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon for another video. Enjoy past Emma! <laughs> so health is reasonably simple, we are going to talk about puberty, nutrition, exercise, relationships, basically um, almost everything that's covered in the PHSC National Curriculum. Um, we'll do it our own way, there's certain topics um, that maybe I won't talk about. Um, as in depth as maybe they would at school, or I may not even cover at all. But physical education, I'm trying to get this so this is not a super long video, um, will be covered by exercise. So we're gonna be doing like swimming, running, cycling, maybe playing sports if he's interested. I'd put money on him not being interested. <laughs> but um, basically I'm gonna get really fit because I'm gonna be doing these things with him. Uh, finally, and my favorite bit, Charles's two is electives. So I have included a list below of um, possible electives that your child might like to do. These are just a few that I have plucked um, from a list I created for Charles that was like, these are electives I am willing to facilitate, arrange to be facilitated, or make daddy facilitate. <laughs> um, so these are some that Charles is um, interested in, and that is childcare, robotics, computer science, horsemanship, coding, art, cookery, marine biology, and carpentry, um, which is a huge, massive range of stuff, and I love how different they all are. Um, so you could do six electives over the four years with 150 hours each, or you could do 12 with 75 hours each and really have a good mix of stuff that your kid wants to do. Um, and you can just mix and match to what your child fancies as you get to the beginning of the, as a good beginning of the, um, school year. I've written home ed year on my list, on my piece of paper, home ed year, but they're going to call it the school year, academic year. Um, as above, you can, re so as I said, you can really, really create your um, own electives with a variety of things. It doesn't have to look like textbooks and workbooks. It can just, you can just make it work for you and for your child, um, especially once you get to a point where maybe you've got, if you've got more than one child and you're going to be doing various different high school diplomas with all of them. Thankfully, I think I won't be doing any more than two at a time with mine. So when Charles starts it, he say he starts it at 14, Bessie will be 12 and Albert will be nine. Okay, so then if he finishes it at 18, Bessie will be 16, so halfway through and Albert will be 13. So yeah, I won't be doing any more than two at a time. Like I will finish Charles and I was and the same year I finish that Charles finishes, like that next academic year I'll be starting with Albert. So I'll only be doing two two kids at a time. However, all of them are really interested in completely different things. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild few years. It's gonna be a wild however how I don't know how many years I'll be doing it. It's gonna be eight years isn't it it's gonna be a wild eight years oh my gosh eight years and at the end of that eight years i will have three adult children it's bonkers it can't happen i won't allow it end the video here no one's growing up we're not doing any of this nonsense um i jest <laughs> my babies anyway um so one of the things with using an umbrella school is that you do have to grade your child's work oh i just threw my drink on the floor this is like an adhd commercial isn't it um so you do have to grade your child's work and report those grades twice a year in august no in june and january june and january to the umbrella school and this is with home life academy obviously i don't know about homeschool directive because they haven't got enough information on their website I couldn't tell. You have to do a video call with them before they give you any information. I, I don't like that. Um, so as well as provide an educational plan once a year, 
um, to the Umbrella School. So they, as the, all of these things form the high school transcript that you get given at the end of the senior year. Uh, so another point is when should we be starting this and i did say it a little bit earlier um so they it would be it's been advised by home life academy that you start this the year your child would be starting year 10 um or the ninth grade if they were in america um if they were in school uh, you can start a little, a little earlier if your child is ready you can also start a little bit later if they're not ready so home life academy suggested to me that no more than a year either side um just to make just for you know the child's maturity and their abilities um obviously if your child um does is not there academically academically then you can do the modified course you don't have to do they don't have to be trying to get them into uni you know like whatever works you can make this work for you and for your child um so we are planning to start this either august 2026 or august 2027 so that gives us what like um three to four years to get him to the point where we're going to begin this and this crazy crazy adventure of high school diploma um you have to enroll with home life, home life academy at the start of the academic year i've said academic so many times uh, which begins in the august that's the only reason why it's august um let's talk about the cost a little bit so the first year is going to cost 110 dollars this includes a application fee and then the year's fee um, so that works out at about £85. The second and third years will be $50 each, which works out about £39. I have rounded the, the um, converted figures up, and this is at the time of talking about this, uh, the exchange rates, which is um, was it? it's July 2023. So this is the exchange rates as of today, rounded up ever so slightly to the nearest pound. Um, the final year or the senior year costs $150, which works out as next piece of paper, £116, which comes to a total of £279, not including resources or anything like that. I think this is really reasonable when you consider the cost of GCSEs in the UK for home educated children if you're using um, exam centres or you're using IGCSEs online. Um, so if your child did six IGCSEs, and I did this as um, double science, which is technically classes two, but pretending it's one, English, maths, history, geography, and then something else, a language, ICT, whatever, um, with an online provider, and this is, if you just type in IGCSEs online, this is one of the first links that comes up with a name that has Oxford in it. Um, it would cost around 3,300, no, 3,400 pounds to do those GCCs. So you come up with seven GCCs, but it's gonna cost you almost three and a half grand um, over the course of two years. And I personally think that is ridiculous. Um, especially if they're marketing at home educators, like we don't have this kind of money. I don't know any home educators that got that kind of money, especially if they've got multiple children. So if you taught them the GCSE content and then paid for just like the books, resources and exams, you're still looking for those six exams, um, you're looking at £1,700. So in terms of cost, when if you're looking at just doing the, um, you want, say you want six GCSEs, that's five, I know, but I'm holding the paper with this hand, um, and you just do the exams at an exam centre. This is a local exam centre to me in Hampshire. Um, and it was, and then I added on the cost of the textbooks as well. It came to £1,700. Um, which again, it's as half the price pretty much, isn't it? Of the figure, the other figure, which is, you know, close to £3,500. But when you compare it to 279 plus resources rather than 1,700 plus resources, I think it's a no brainer personally for us. 279 pounds for each child over eight years, absolutely doable. I will start putting that money aside now. 3,393 is the exact figure I've got here. For three children, absolutely not doable. 1,700 per child over two years, probably more doable, but I, that's a lot of money, you know? That's a lot of money. And I'm sure you're gonna agree with me, so. Um, obviously, you don't have to do any of that. You don't have to do IJS GCSEs at all. You don't have to do any of this at all. Like, I don't want anyone coming in the comments for me. Please, all autonomous unschooling learners, do unschoolers, please don't come for me going, you don't have to do any of this. I know you don't. 
I'm just sharing, this is what we're doing with our children. This is what I've always shared on this channel is, this is what I'm doing with my kids. This is what I've learned from home educating my kids. Um, you do you. Um, I just think this is an amazing idea. This is what I, this is a, this is what I want for my son. It's a mix between him being able to go out and achieve any dream he wants to, but with my dream of him being able to do the things he wants to do without feeling like I'm bullying him into it. And this, with these, all of these electives that he can do, this is gonna achieve that for him. And he's so excited about it. Um, and we always already do English, math and science with him anyway. So really it's just adding in a regular exercise. Again, which we do already. It's talking about personal finance, which we're gonna be teaching him anyway. Um, talking about health and nutrition. I'm gonna be teaching him that anyway because I want him to go off into the world and be able to manage his money and manage his health without me having to do it for him. And in the electives, He's going to be he's going to be autonomously learning a lot of stuff anyway um so you know your child could equally do two years of this high school diploma and then go on to do a levels at college um i got that from a local college um a few towns over from us that you could do two years of high school education and then go on and do a levels with them um because they would treat you as an international student um, so you can have a port for portfolio of work and possibly a transcript and grade list of what you've already achieved in those two years, what your child has already achieved in those two years. Um, you can also go and take GCSEs at college and then go on to A-levels if your plan child has plans for university. So there's nothing wrong with doing the work at home for two years, working towards this, making a transcript, um, which um, in the future, if people are interested, if you join, if, if you know, I won't do a video on it if you, because we're using an umbrella school. If you join the HE Success Without Exams, uh, they will signpost you to templates to create your own transcript and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but so there are so many options for your child that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do GCSEs with them um, at home, that you can give them enough knowledge so they can do it at college, that if they want to, that you can do it enough that they can then go straight doing two years of high school diploma and go straight to A-levels at college um, with kids who are the same age as them, like like they would have done if they'd gone through school. Um, but you can also, you can do the IGCSEs if you've got if you've got that money. I haven't got that money lying around. There's no way I could do that for my three children. Um, and, you know, if, if, that's, if that's not what you're aiming for, if that if financially, it's a the, the IGCSEs or doing GCSEs like that, you've wanted to do that with your child and the financial, the, bur the financial burden has just been too much and you've not been thinking, how am I gonna do this? I really think that this is something that you should be looking into because two, £279 plus resources, you're gonna be buying those resources anyway as a home educator. It's just, it's that extra money. And that £279 is over four years. Alexa, what's 279 divided by four? 279 divided by 4 is 69.75. That is £69 a year over uh, each of those years. That's what it works out as if you average it out. Which, to be honest, for our family, £69, we spend more than that going to a harvester as a family of five. It's a no-brainer. It means we just have one left harvester in a year. And we put that money aside. And we can do it now. We can start doing that now. And then we've got the money. For the first kid and then we do it again like it's a no-brainer for me absolutely no-brainer um, so to sum it up a high school diploma is a cost-effective and home ed friendly way of enabling your child to get qualifications that will set them up for college and university as well as vocational courses and entering the workforce if that's the way you want to go this is the way that we are going we're definitely going to do it with all three of our children i think that it's just Oh, the bees knees so um i'm gonna leave that there because this video is a million hours long and i am hungry and i have a chicken korma being cooked downstairs by my beloved husband and there is naan bread and poppadoms and mango chutney so yes thank you so much for joining us and i will see you very soon bye don't forget to like and subscribe bye